Hey guys, welcome to a special vlog I had in mind for Avengers Endgame. I saw it yesterday and I liked it. I liked it a lot. What can I talk about without spoiling? I'm gonna have a spoiler section in a couple minutes, but let me just get this right out of the way. I thought the action was great. I thought the acting was good too. And I thought a lot of loose ends were actually tied up in a nice, neat little bow. It was basically an accumulation of the last 11 years of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And it was really, really, really good. I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the cameo by Stan Lee, of course. How can you not enjoy Stan Lee's cameo? It was really good. That's not a spoiler, by the way. You knew it was kind of cameo. It was probably one of the last cameos he ever had. I think he's going to be... I think he filmed a cameo for Spider-Man Far From Home, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not really sure. I'll have to look into that. Uh, let's see. Uh, you guys want to talk about spoilers, so let's... Let's get that out of the way, shall we? I mean, it's only been like a minute. I can say it's, it's a good movie. And it was. It was, it was a great movie. Okay, so spoiler corner in about five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my god, this movie was awesome. Uh, how many spoilers do I want to talk about? Well, let's start with the beginning. I saw Professor Hulk in the movie. In the comics, you see him as like, you know, this gigantic guy with, uh, Big arms and small waist and everything. That's how Professor Hulk was drawn in the 90s, and it was really weird. Look it up on Google, you'll see. And when I first saw him, I was kind of like, it was kind of jarring, actually. It's like, whoa, Professor Hulk, okay, sure. What kind of like Shrek for a second there, but hey, okay. whatever. That was a great art for him. That movie got all of his Bruce Banner Hulk personalities all meshed into one. No, that's good. I just hope one day we get a Hulk movie with him solo. Universal, we gotta do something about this. Get the Hulk a solo movie again. Please. Uh, everybody had a great story arc in this movie. We had Hawkeye dealing with his issues, Ant-Man, everything. Speaking of Ant-Man, I think they're trying to set up the Young Avengers with the, with his daughter Cassie. Because after, if you read the comics, you'll know that Cassie eventually becomes Stature and then later Stinger. So, it's possible they're setting up a Young Avengers movie with her. I would not be surprised. And I also wouldn't be surprised if Morgan Stark was involved too. Yes, I love you 3000. That was so corny, but it still worked. <laughs> it was, uh, I also like the nods to the comic, the comics and the past movies. Like when Carol Danvers and War Machine had this like, you know, nod towards each other, nod of respect. They're totally going out. <laughs> they really are. They were going out in the comics and yeah, that was a nod to them. Totally going out, probably. Yeah, we know. They might be trying to do that relationship. We'll just have to wait for uh, Captain Marvel 2. And that brings me up to another thing. This is by no means the end of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. We have a lot of things on the horizon, don't we? We have uh, Spider-Man Far From Home. We have... Black Panther 2, Doctor Strange 2, Ant-Man 3, Guardians of the Galaxy 3, and the shows that are going to be on the Disney streaming service. So, we are not done with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. No. I think of uh, Avengers Endgame as, like, maybe the end of the first chapter, you would, I think. Or maybe, like, the middle of the book of the Marvel Universe. It's... It's a good ending spot, but there's going to be more afterward. So, there's a lot to look forward to. I do have some questions, though, 
like how did like how did uh this thing with uh, Gamora gonna go? We have the past Gamora in the present, and I guess Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three might actually involve going after Gamora. So you can see that coming. We also have, uh, uh, let's see, I'm trying to think of other spoilers to talk about. Yeah. Falcon as Captain America. You should saw that coming. You know, it kind of skipped Bucky in the comics and paid Falcon Captain America. Or Captain Falcon, as other people call him. So. We'll see what they go with that. Bucky and Falcon are actually going to have a TV show on uh, the Disney streaming service. So that would be really good. Those are the things we talk about. Overall, this movie was really, really good. I liked the action. Uh, apparently, Howard the Duck was supposed to be a cameo in the, in the movie. And I didn't see him. So... Whatever. Maybe I'll have to watch it again. Maybe I will. Maybe he's there. And I just did see him through the lot going on and the battle at the end. And I never really looked at any of the spoilers at all. So I was blown away by everything. It was just really a lot of fun. The accumulation of everything that's gone on before it. And it actually sets up the story that's going to take place afterwards. So... The Marvel Cinematic Universe is by no means done. And you have to wonder, how are they going to top this? Well, I have an idea. Phase 4 is coming up, isn't it? What if Phase 4 was Fantastic 4? Think about it. Fantastic 4 could debut. Marvel has the rights back to the Fantastic 4 in the X-Men. So... We could be seeing Galactus, a proper Galactus, sometime in the next five years or possibly more. In the end, I think Avengers Endgame was a lot of fun, a lot of action, a lot of drama. The deaths were, you know, they were sad, but they were kind of meaningful. We had Black Widow dying, and that was... That was meaningful. That ended her arc. But if they're going to do a Black Widow movie, how are they going to handle it? Maybe they'll do a prequel. I don't know. It'll have to be something good. I'm sure it will be. There hasn't really been any really, really awful movies in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Like, really, really, truly awful. I mean, Iron Man 3, that was okay. It was just kind of like, yeah, I didn't like that twist with the Mandarin. And Avengers Age of Ultron was always considered the weakest of the Avengers movies. And, but that's still a good movie, think about it. Uh, you know, there hasn't really been an awful, awful MCU movie, like, ever. But, you know, one of the best parts of Avengers Endgame was when everybody... Was all gathered and Cap said, Avengers Assemble. Yeah, that was corny, but it was a long time coming. And seeing him lift up Thor's hammer was awesome. And speaking of Cap, I kind of wonder what they're going to do. Because, I, you know how Captain America is now living in the past with Peggy. So, could he come back? I don't know. I really don't know. It's possible, but then again, it might not. It just really depends on what the studio wants to do with the characters. So, overall, I would give Avengers Endgame two thumbs up. Should you go see it? Yes. If you're a fan, definitely go see it. If you're not a fan, you might want to look up a few of the movies beforehand because there's a lot of uh, references to past movies 
In fact, the entire movie was basically a reference to past movies. Because they go back in time to, like, the Guardians of the Galaxy, the first Avengers movie, and a few other events. You really need to look up several of those movies before you actually dive into Endgame. Maybe just Avengers Infinity War would be decent. Just check out those movies and, you know, that's basically it. This movie was great. It, it, I'm not going to say it exceeded expectations because I was already pretty hyped when I saw the trailers because you saw the action and everything. And if you see this movie, you will be impressed by everything that happened. It's basically a whole cohesive universe all together as one. And everybody had a chance to shine. It was a lot of fun. So check it out. I might see it again. I might not. I don't know. But one thing I do know is that this movie was definitely worth your time checking out. So uh, until next time, I'll see you in the funny pages. Take care.